Oh, is that what it is? Oh. Hello, everyone. Hello. Happy Whiny Palooza Wednesday. No need to whine. It's Whiny Palooza Wednesday. Have some wine and join us on Whiny Palooza Wednesday with the Green Family. Chicken. That was beautiful. Thank you. Do you want to tell everyone what we just did? Bat mitzvah rehearsal. Ella just nailed her bat mitzvah rehearsal and we're so proud of her. Thank How you. do you feel? Do you feel better now that you rehearsed? Yeah, I think it'll do, I'll do great. So for those of you who don't know, her bat mitzvah is this weekend and she's so excited and I'm so excited and um, we, we got to go to our temple today and we got to walk through the door <laughs> and I mean, seriously, that's that's monumentous. When is the last time that we have walked through the temple doors? Tell me. Mm -hmm. It's been forever. Because all the uh, Rosh Hashanah and before services were outside. So we went into temple and she rehearsed. And I realized that I was taking so much for granted. Like, who knew that I would appreciate being able to, like, go into the synagogue and, and have a service. Have a service. Thank you, Seth. Um, she did a great job. She did a really great job. We ran through the whole service. I think I know what I'm doing. Ella thinks she knows what she's doing. I know no, I Ella know knows what she's doing. We think we know. We think we know. Um, I didn't know I was doing anything. You're doing some stuff. I'm doing some stuff. It'll be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So anyways, I'm really proud of you. Thank you. And, um, I love your matching sweatshirts. Oh, yeah. We match, Alabella. We love you, Karen. Um, oh, Corey's here. Hi, Corey. Corey and I, um, Corey Clark, not Corey Malnikoff, my brother, Corey Clark, the friend from kindergarten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Corey's like, when am I going to get over that I'm your friend from kindergarten? Never. <laughs> So anyways, this this topic this week is all about Ella because tomorrow, bye Ella. Ella's like, don't make me talk. Um, tomorrow, Ella- I also have a matching whiny palooza sweatshirt. Uh, are we just going to match every week? I need to get some different colors. You know they come in different colors. Oh, fabulous. We got to get them on all the colors. I'm going to buy some different colors. Although I guess- be your own biggest customer. I guess I need to wear pink. Anyways- um, the topic this week is Ella turns 13 because tomorrow Ella turns 13. What? And, My um, baby. yeah, how did that happen? How did that happen? Well, 13 years ago, she was born. 13 years ago, she decided to break my water six, almost six weeks early, and she's never going to live it down. <laughs> okay. So, Ella has been studying for her bat mitzvah for months and months and months. How many months do you think? Six months. Okay. We're going to... I think he's right. I think it's six months. And she was, like, so stressed out. I mean, so stressed out. And I looked at her, like, to Seth. And, Seth, I'm going to give you kudos. It's all right. You can throw me under the bus. No, 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 no. I know what's coming. I'm going to... We're, we're yin and yang. Seth and I are yin and yang. Which yes. Which one am I? You're the yang. <laughs> so, so anyways, um, Seth had like no question about it. He was like, she's getting bat mitzvah. And I was like, well, she's a little stre too stressed out for me. Um, so if you haven't guessed already, I am the way too easy parent. Yes. Who is like, my baby's stressed. I don't want a bat mitzvah. So I went up to Ella one day without Seth knowing. Seth was at work. And I was like, do you even want to do this? Are you too stressed out? Because if you're too stressed out, why are we doing this? And um, she was like, no, I want to do this. I mean, we had a really good talk. And I oh, I didn't tell you that I did this? No. <laughs> We're going to have to talk about this afterwards. I was like, forget it. You're too stressed out. We're not doing this. That's not how this works. No. So how I really felt was what I said to Ella. If this is too stressful for you, you need to tell me. Now, mind you, there's things that we can do to help her. Um, you know, a shorter service and et cetera, et cetera. But um, her response to me was, no, mom, I'm doing this. I want to do this. And I was actually shocked. 
And then I realized every time she was stressed, I had a different attitude. And I wasn't like, forget it, we're not doing it. I was like, okay, she wants to do this. I just need to help her through her stress. So what I love about this experience, um, and you loved that I wrote this. Yes. Um, what I loved about this experience was that Ella found it to be very hard and she's seeing that she can do it. And when we do things that are really hard for us, we that's how we build our confidence. Yes. Like if we say Love something, that. right? If we say something is too hard and we're like, if forget you, it. You would let her, if she had given up and accepted your invitation to give up, then she would have learned failure and quitting and stuff like that. Whereas she persevered, she did it. Now she's super excited. She's super proud of herself, and she's built that muscle. So, she, so she offered her an easy way out. <laughs> we will We're talk about. We that. will. <laughs> we don't quit in this house. So we don't quit in this house. I, I love. Okay, so Seth is like the determined father. He's he's strict. I mean, to ish. A, strict ish. Um, much more strict than as, I am. As strict as you let me be. Um, yeah. Um, he, like I said, he's the yin to my yang. Yes. And I am like, oh, honey, you're too stressed about your bat mitzvah. Forget it. Forget it. I don't even want to do it anymore. Yeah, that's always where the place that she goes. Forget it. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm done. That's the place you go well, to. Well, because what I find with Ella I was talking about in general. But we're, yes, no, but we're going to, no, 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 in general. But what I'm talking about with Ella, which we're going to talk about, is that what I've had to explain to Seth is that I get a very different Ella than he does, which is fine. Give it to me. Like, I'm here for you. I'm home yes. after school. Okay. That's why I'm here. Like, give me your stress. She comes home. She's stressed out. She didn't like school. Her bat mitzvah was too stressful. And I get all of the stress. Okay, so I got all the stress, and then Seth came home and is like, how was school? Oh, good. Everything's good. And I'm like, what the? Yep. <laughs> so the part of the reason why Seth isn't like, oh, my baby, I, I don't want you to do your bat mitzvah is because he doesn't get any of the stress. I'm the one who gets the stress. He gets the easy part. He gets the, I love you, daddy. Everything's good. <laughs> Right? Right. <laughs> I still wouldn't have let her quit. Okay. There's some things that are worth doing and worth persevering. Okay. You can so, quit doing the dishes, but you're not going to quit something like this. So what I am working on profusely is that when Ella is really stressed out, how can I help her manage her stress? Yes. So instead of having her stressed out every day about her bat mitzvah, I wanted her to ex have a different experience. You know, like, I can do hard things. I can do this. This is this is okay. And the next hard thing will be easier because she has this to look back and go, I did that. This will be easier. Yes. Yes. She tells me things are hard a lot of the time. And what I said to her today is, you can do hard things. And so what? It's hard. It makes you stronger. It won't be as hard as if you keep doing it. Then it gets easier. Um, things are hard at first. Like I told you guys um, that I was going to do 30 days of yoga. And the first couple days I was like, oh my God, I'm so out of yoga shape. And by day 11, I was like, I'm getting so much better. So it's like, it just reminds you that when you do things repeatedly, it gets easier. But um, <laughs> yeah, so staying calm is what my note says. And I want to tell you why my note says that. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to them to be a better parent. I listen to them to help me be a better podcaster. And all these therapists are like, you have to stay calm. When you're teenagers, I mean, any child, but I, I've been listening to stuff about teenagers. When your teenagers come to you to, you know, they're stressed out, they want to talk about something, they want to tell you something, they don't want to talk, whatever the situation is, because you know parenting teenagers is a very different ball of wax. Um, we have to stay even is what they're all telling me. And what surprised me, and I'm telling you this because it applies to Ella like so much, 
um, not only do I have to stay calm with her and even for her to keep talking and to feel supported, but even, they explained to me, even my passionate, happy reactions. Your excitement. Turns teenagers off, okay? So I'm like so emotional and like, you know, they don't want you to get angry, but they also don't want you to be like so excited for them. It, it's like they clam up. Yeah, so they're back in their shell. Right? And it applies to Max and Ella. So if I'm more even, then um, it, the whole conversation goes better. Yes. And then I give Ella more of what she needs. So I'm working on that. And I said to Seth, I was like, this isn't working for me. I just want to be my authentic self. I just want to be me. I don't want to have to be like, what does Ella need? What does Max need? Like, we can't parent our kids the same way. Lily needs something different than Ella does. Lily loves the, the, the intense, passionate excitement. So, Seth was like, you're just giving them different versions of yourself. Different parts of yourself. So, I'm not, he's like, you're not, you're labeling it wrong. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, um, he's like, you're labeling... <laughs> Granddaughters. Granddaughters. Yeah, we're not that old, Bert, but thank you. It's heartwarming seeing granddaughters spend time Are with their granddaughters. Are you telling us that we look like grandparents? Seriously, I got carded I, the other day. I don't think I look that old yet. Yeah, we're not old enough to have grandkids. The, but... Those are our kids. Yes. <laughs> so, anyways, um, <laughs> totally thrown off. Yes. Okay, different, different versions. Parts of yourself. So I can get super excited with Lily, and Lily loves it. But if I get super excited with Ella, she's like, whoa, Hello, Mom. like, whoa, like, calm down. <laughs> so I'm just trying to do my best to give Ella what she needs. You know, every day I'm motivated because she's such a sweet, wonderful kid that I want to give her what she needs. I want her to have that. So I want to figure out that she needs me to be calm. I want to figure out that she doesn't want me to get crazy excited for her. She's given me some really good advice. She told me that, I'm like, you know, what do you want to tell parents? And you're gonna totally love her interview. She let me interview her. I had a wonderful lady ask me to interview my children. So I started with Ella and her podcast is going to air this Friday and you're going to love it. I can't even believe um, some of, the things, some of the things that she had to say. It was just such a good experience for both of us. And I was like, you know, tell us what you think parents need to know. Like, tell us what we should be doing. And she's like, listening, listening. She said, listen, so many times that I'm like, she must not be feeling Listen to her. her. Yes, 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 yes. So she was like, don't fix it. Don't fix it. It's like, my baby's upset. I got to come and fix it. No, she doesn't want that. It's funny, just, Max told me that the other day. He said, Dad, I got to tell you something, but don't just jump to fixing it like you always do. Just listen. I just want you to listen. I'm like, thank you for the disclaimer. And good that I've got that wrap that I'm immediately going to fix something. Did you ask him why he didn't want you to fix it? I think I did, but I don't remember. You know you're totally not on this camera. I, but I'm on this one, so we got to figure this out. <laughs> to get us both... There we go. Now we're both on both cameras at the same time. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Alice, Alice said... Don't always fix it, just listen. She goes, and parents need to know that you're not always gonna understand. She's like, do you know how many years ago you were in middle school? She's like, mom, I'm, I'm not saying you're old, but like you were in middle school a really long time ago. Like you don't understand, it's very different. And she's like, you know, you had to go through COVID as a parent. You didn't have to go through COVID as a child. Very good point. She's like, you don't understand. And sometimes you just have to say, it's okay that I don't understand. And I'm we here. We're willing to admit that we don't understand. Yes. Even though we want to understand. Well, and Seth and I are such fixers, like Seth more so than I. Yes. But when it comes to my kids, yes. when it comes to myself, I'm not as good <laughs> as I am with my kids. Excellent. But when my kids, when something is upsetting my kids, I'm like, Mama Bear is here. <laughs> what can I do? And they're like... I'll go talk to that school. <laughs> Let me at that teacher. Let me at her. Oh my God, you should have heard me today in the car. I was like, Ella, 
Ella and Tegan tell me how to spell this kid's name. I'm reporting somebody somewhere. I'm like, this is not going unspoken. We are getting to the bottom of this. But anyways, if I am always swooping in, yep. first of all, Ella doesn't want me to. And second of all, how is she going to learn to solve anything yes. if I'm doing everything for her? Right. You're <laughs> disenabling her, disempowering her. So she's coming home stressed. She is not enjoying school. Her grades are amazing. I mean, her grades are so good, but I need to talk to her because maybe her grades need to not be so good. Maybe if she, I, I love that her grades are so good, but if she's going to feel this pressured and stressed right. to get those good grades, no way. Um, her mental health is more important to me than her grades. And um, she's, she's stressed and she's putting too much pressure on herself and I don't think she's having a good school experience. So what, uh, go uh, ahead. Did anybody have a good middle school experience? That, okay, so that is the question for all of you. Right, I didn't, I was miserable. So Max didn't like middle school. He tells me that Ella's gonna like high school, but hello, she has another year of middle school. So did anybody like middle school? Please chime in. Did you like middle school? Give because me some nose. because no 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 if you did yeah you can say that, if you I liked would... middle school tell us why why I didn't like middle school my friend Brandy did I need to ask her why she liked middle school so Max didn't like it Max is done Max is in high school um, Ella doesn't like it she did not even want to go to school today um, yesterday she was like can you just like keep driving. So she's feeling too pressured, too stressed, isn't enjoying it, says the kids. I think the kids have regressed socially and behaviorally. So I think the kids at school are so not behaving. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, she's a great student and well-behaved and attentive. And the kids who don't are driving her, probably all contributing to her stress by driving her crazy and stressing out the teachers. And she wants to actually learn something. I, she was like, they're bothering me. They're bothering me. I like I, I'm not enjoying the class because they're annoying me. And I looked at Seth, and he's like, "Yeah, she got that from me." Right. <laughs> it's genetic. I would have been like, "Oh, good. The teacher's distracted. I can talk to my friend." <laughs> not there socializing in the classroom. Okay. You're supposed to be learning something. Oh, understood. Nobody gave me the memo. They didn't give you the memo that you were supposed to. I guarantee you, your father told you to stop talking to your friends and passing notes and pay attention. My dad took me to high school when I was really stressed out because I didn't know anybody. And I was crying and I said I didn't want to go to school. And I did, I did meet a bunch of friends and end up loving high school. But I did start high school with like no friends. And um, he was dropping me off at high school. I was like, I don't want to go. I was crying. He was like, you're not here for the friends. He was like, get out of the car and go learn something. He's like, who cares about friends? And I was like, I care about friends. I'm at school for friends. I don't think that's what it says on the door. <laughs> so um, as I see my daughter acting like me and rushing through her day and feeling pressured, I think about myself and how similar that is to me. The teacher told me, uh, the teacher told me for Sienna in middle school, he could face her desk to the wall and she'd still talk. Uh-oh, Patty. <laughs> My mother got the whole, she's a wonderful student. She's a lovely kid. Um, she could probably talk a little less in class. <laughs> Or she could talk to a wall. I could probably talk to a wall. Sienna and I get along very well. You have a fascinating conversation with the wall. Um, so what a lovely color paint you're wearing today. <sighs> so I will tell you that one of Ella's teachers did an impression of her walking through the hallway. And we were laughing, but it's, you know, I've talked to Ella about it. It makes me sad. Um, she's rushing. She's rushing through her day. She's pressured and rushed and stressed. And I would say that was me today. <laughs> you had a million things to do today. Um, I did. You're a little busier than I your did, normal crazy busy. I think I did 12 hours of bat mitzvah work today. Yep. And I'm about to go do more. 
but it's, it's gonna be great but it's gonna be great and I'm almost done I'm almost done so um back up to being pressured and stressed so I see the reflection of myself and I see her acting like me and I just want to get her to enjoy her days more so I'm trying to teach her how I'm doing that I'm slowing myself down I'm making myself more present in my day we've talked about ways to do that I was walking the dog and I was like thinking about how I had 30 minutes till I had to be at the school for max and I was like okay but you have 30 minutes like check out a tree like look at something Tana wants to show you all I was, the trees I was like look at the beautiful tree like look at the scenery why don't you be present now instead of thinking about 30 minutes from now where you need to be That's awesome. so I'm noticing that I'm doing that all day so I'm slowing myself down. I'm making myself more present. I'm taking a lot more deep breaths. I yelled at a car today and I was like, oh, when you yell at someone, they can't hear me. When you yell at someone when you're driving, it's time for some deep breathing. Yes. Like you shouldn't be rushing. You shouldn't be yelling at people. Like you slow don't know down. You are yelling at if they did hear you, that could not go well. They're not gonna hear me. They could see that. They're, uh, they're, they read lips? I'm sure people have seen me go, yeah, something. <laughs> we'll keep this PG rated. Um, so anyways, I am 45 and still learning. She is 13. I would like to help her learn before she's 45. Hopefully she gets it sooner than me. Yep. Yep. Seth is yawning. So I, got up to her. I'm going to wrap it up. I've been getting up at 530 every day. I can't help it. I think it's the adrenaline. And I think that Sunday... Oh, you're going to sleep late on Sunday. I think Sunday I will crash. finally sleep. So I'm going to wrap it up. I asked Ella questions about my parenting, our parenting. You know, what is what are we doing right? What could we work on? How I ask her how things are going all the time. I ask her specific questions about her day because I see the stress. And um, I'm so thankful that she has theater. Man, does she love theater. And it's such a good, um, it's fun. It's a stress reliever. She has friends there. Like, thank you, Heidi. <sighs> Tomorrow is the big 13 for Ella. So I asked her at age 13. I had great conversations with her, you know, from doing the blog. She read the blog. Um, I got permission to post the blog before I posted it. I got permission to post the podcast before we post it on Friday. And um, all of these conversations, whether it's work or not work related, she gives great insight into what's working and not working for her. And I realized that at age 13, it's going to look different than it's going to look at age 14 when I ask her. And it might even look different next month. Amen. Oh, Emma, our kids are so similar. Sending best, best wishes to Ella for tomorrow. Thank you so much. They are so similar. And they were having such a good time at lunch. Can we do that again? Um, let's bring um, Tegan and Karen with us. And let's do a, another lunch. They are so similar. Too much pressure on themselves. Why are these kids putting so much pressure on themselves? Slow your roll. I don't care if you get a 99. I don't care. I want you to be less stressed. Get a 90. Get an 88. Just be less stressed. <laughs> Ella, do you hear me? <laughs> so um, I love her so much. I'm so proud of her. And she has a lot going on. So... Um, yeah, we'll be back next week to let you know how it all went. Great plan. She likes my, Emma likes my idea. So have a wonderful week. And um, oh, my March challenge started in my Whiny Plus a Mom group. Um, come find me, Whiny Plus a Mom on Facebook. It's free. It's fun. And we're doing a winter challenge right now. And I'm gonna give away prizes because I love to give away prizes. <laughs> So come find my group and listen to Ella on Friday. You're going to love it. The Whiny Palooza podcast. And anything else? Get the app and Whiny Palooza app in the Apple or Google app stores. Okay, where is anybody to close us out? Do you want to close us out? Thank you for watching Whiny Palooza Wednesday with the Green Family. 
Gotcha, I'll check in. Thank you, honey. Have a good week, everyone.